Right then, so this is a very, very special um, video that we're doing today on Fed's Toy Box because now, as some of you know, we're, we're now in um, association with Unique Geek, which is absolutely fantastic because this means I get more time to do more videos with you guys and you get to enjoy more great content. So, on today's video, it's a bit of an unboxing plus a bit of transformation here. We're going to be looking at. Ooh, the boxed version of Soundwave and Doombox. This is the Transformer remold, retooled uh, from the Bumblebee movie. So as you can see, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty fantastic looking toy. Boxes look great, and the box itself does resemble a boom box with a record player, rewind, stop, and pause button. Right, so that's the uh, the back of the box for you guys to see. Obviously, it's um. A 19 step changer to get Doombox looking like Soundwave. Plus, he's a headmaster, so I believe Doombox is actually the head of Soundwave, <coughs> which appears to be um, all good. As you can see, we've got all the markings from Hasbro and everything that you'd expect. On the side of the box, we have Bumblebee playing some sort of funky air guitar here with a stop sign, and everything seems to be uh, pretty much as it should be. So let's uh, open it up and get a good look at the toy inside. If I can just find out where it is that I need to open so I don't damage anything. Let's just uh, have a quick skew to this. Right. And that should do it. Let's see if I can. Uh, Pry this open and a bit of tape on the bottom we need to get. But as most of you know on this channel, I do like to uh, keep everything in a pretty good condition. I mean, if we've got a, a box, I necessarily won't. Uh, I'll try and open it as careful as I possibly can to save any argy bargy. Right, so let's take him out and have a look. If we can get him out, oh, I don't think he's going to come out. He's taped up that well. We've got to literally disassemble the entire box to get him out. This could take a while. Hmm. Okay. So I won't go anywhere and you will give me five minutes because all this is going to be wonderfully re edited out with everything that needs to be done and placed together in some sort of mad way. So we'll catch you all in a bit and we'll have a look at this guy out of the packet. See you in a bit. Right, so after we've had a good um, five, ten minutes worth of cutting and reassembling some origami type box, this is what we were actually left with. Quite a few cable ties and some weaponry and sound wave instructions which come really nicely sort of grafted in the box. So if we just remove sound wave from his, his sound card that we have there and we'll keep that to one side as not to lose or damage anything. Right now we've got quite a few of these little plastic mould pins to get rid of. But again no one really cares so we're just gonna chop these off because they're no good to man or beast. that done and we do have sound wave weapons there plus this little geezer here how to remove the little guy oh he's just on some little tiny tabs there eh? right. oh, we need the little guy out because that's sound wave there right so we've got the doom box out and all we've got to do is be really carefully remove uh, the little guy which is as easy as that right so we'll have a look at the weapons at some other point, but that as you can see is Doombox, which is Soundwave's head. Nice little um well nice little mould. It's got a leg articulation, well knee articulation, and obviously bends to form Soundwave's head like the original headmasters. His head does appear to be on a little tiny ball joint. Plus he has got these arms which do have some movement. But not a fat lot, so I'm not going to pry that anymore. 
and that is the back of Doom box which you can obviously see is a really nice head sculpt when he transforms into Soundwave himself but for now we'll just leave him as little tiny little tiny Doom box and we'll pop him to one side right so this itself is Soundwave or Soundwave's body now it's, it's quite nice detail, I mean I do like it um, They have like little um, tuning buttons here Much like the original G1 sort of style here And uh, yeah, I see nice little robo detail in the side there The back of the box, the back of the actual <laughs> stereo itself You can see some sort of robot sort of parts where it should be a, a blow But not a lot going on inside the model there A bit of kibble showing but nothing too extreme and we've got the tape play with there itself so transformation wise I'll get this transformed and then uh, we'll go over and actually have a look at him in all his glory right be right back don't go anywhere right and we are back and after some heavy heavy points of articulation and some transformage in tow we do actually have and boast sound wave in his robot mode now I haven't actually took the weapons out or had a look at the base mode yet, that's something I'm going to cover later on in probably um, a new video, but as you can see here we go, he's quite, quite a little chunky boy, quite a lot, quite uh, boasts quite a lot of nice detail on him, as you can see from all sorts of sides and views, he is actually quite a stunning, stunning little piece actually, he still sports quite a lot of the, uh, the detail and most of his actual robot mode. As you can see it's just basically kill <clears throat> it's just thrown on there for the sake of being thrown on there now i'm not sure if i've got this completely transformed as it should be but looking at the instructions that i followed it completely is now he's a 19 step transformer so it is a bit sort of fiddly to do and get right first time um there was quite a few times where i was actually near, near enough lost my rag with it because there's bits in the leg the legs that open up that conformed to a base and I was losing all sorts of them um, some bits came off which were quite easily to attach once they were disattached like so you can see nice sort of colours nice chunky robot he ain't gonna go nowhere anytime soon um, obviously comes with them um, accessories some sort of head bed some sort of um, seat base I would say to put little doom box when he's in his robot mode Doom box is easily enough to sort of take out of the actual slot where he's in, so you're not going to break him neither. He's quite a nice little, um, quite a nice little fit. He snugs a bug in a rug in his little hole, as you can see. No damage or issue, nothing to worry about about the paint sort of flakage or chipping off. He sits in there quite awesomely, like a headmaster should. Right, so talking about it, like I said, the paint detail is incredibly good, and he is just a good, chunky, fat bot, and that's what we like, a good, fat bot. Ratchets are quite something to be old. Now, if we're talking about um, articulation of the toy, we do actually have the arm movement that goes forward and back. There is no up or down, unless you count the actual joints, which is sports here, that do go up and down himself. He has actually got... 360 degree elbow swivel and he does go forward but there is no back because that would stop part of the transformation of the base mode which is here he doesn't have no sort of wrist swivel at all so he's not very movable in that sense his head obviously being doombox has got no articulation that's it once doombox is in that slot he ain't looking anywhere right as Suppose to the legs, um, if we move this flap, we do have slight movement, but not a fat lot. We do have slight sort of knee movement, again, not a lot. And I mean, look at the movement on that bloody ankle. That's down to part of the transformation, but that's uh, that's it. So, as to Power's ability, unless you want him looking like he's a trud on a rock and he's having a bad day, he hasn't really got much to offer in the form of transformation, just literally as he is a good old chunky robot. But hey ho, he's Soundwave and we love him. 
must note that this particular transformer does not come with any of the tapes he doesn't come with ravage rat bat or any of the other boys not at all but he has got because he's obviously a retool you can actually get the tapes to fit inside him which is going to be something i'm going to be looking at at some other point but not today right and there you go that's uh our boy sound wave um i will be looking at the um the base form of it but as i say not completely yet i'm just going to enjoy this chunky fat lad as he is in all his glory right and so from me and soundwave down at fet's toy box now associated with unique geek i suggest you go over and check out their channel and check out my boy dready bear when we're down that route as well and everyone have an absolutely sound blasting day or doom box day whichever you prefer stay cool time out and peace <laughs>